to cover today was the actual writing bit and this is where i have given you different examples from different papers of how they have written the methodology section so from here and the subsequent slides you will see examples of different content different content type that you can use at different parts of your uh, methodology section so for example this is the first sentence many uh, in one of the paper uh, is to achieve the objective of answering the research questions we conducted the slr under the guidance published by kitchen and charters and so some other examples of when somebody has used the prisma methodology or booth et al or uh, these papers so basically mentioning the which approach was used for conducting the slr so that is one kind of sentence that you can talk about mention the slr approach and the review protocol so there are four stages in this paper search inclusion exclusion selection process data extraction and data synthesis again another way of mentioning the slr approach is this so you can go through this as well similarly there are many other uh, examples that i have provided here so do check them out planning study identification data extraction and classification again following the kitchenham and peterson's paper uh, you could mention the goal of your slr paper in a generic format something what you can see uh, from this sentence the key goal of the slr is to systematically identify classify and synthesize new evidence based on the data extracted from selected research publications so you can rephrase it don't use it as it is but just to show that one thing that you can cover in this section is this review method again an example from a different paper but basically planning conducting and reporting the three stages they have mentioned here another example search strategy when you're writing the search strategy part of the methodology section uh, you can follow these styles or these uh, uh, this way of writing search strategy again few more examples review protocol in this paper they refer to primary studies as ps and subsequently within the rest of the paper i think this is important here because they have given a justification this is justification paragraph here of uh, why they decided to select only one or two databases the rest because the rest all were giving uh, similar results so if you want to include this in the methodology section this is a good good template to uh, to use selection process or strategy some sample again here uh, for you to look at uh, what was done in step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 how you screened through different articles and selected your uh, papers uh, different phases who did what this is also a good way to show the selection and what you can also do is you know you don't have to exactly have same thing you can mix and match as well so for example in this case they have provided a description of the different phases and who was uh, participating in each activity you can extend this table Uh, by showing in if you are applied inclusion exclusion criteria uh, in phase 1 how many papers you had phase 2 how it reduced and so on so forth or you can show this way another example of how your results start at a very large number and then go down to this so sima